Welcome to Goths TV. I'm Ali Ryan, the editor here at Goths.ie, and I'm here with entertainment reporter Megan Scully. We're chatting about today's top stories, guys. And we're going to start off with Nicola Hughes and Alex Mitten. They're the reality couple at the moment. Everybody knows the big Chelsea is filming over in LA. Alex and Nicola weren't there. Now Alex is there. What is Nicola? Well, I've been taking a look on social media and I've seen no sign to suggest that Nicola is in LA. Jamie Lang has posted some pictures of himself and Alex hanging out in West Hollywood. But yeah, there's no sign of Nicola at all, so I'm starting to wonder, is she going over? And the thing is, Alex has quite a bad rep, in fairness, the whole baby situation. Would you trust your boyfriend to be in another country with Jamie Lang? Oh, as much as I love Jamie, I don't think I'd like my boyfriend to be uh, in America with him for a certain amount of time. Yeah, so do you think Nicola's going to jet over or is she done for the summer? No, I reckon they can't just um, finish the series and, and not have Nicola in it. So I reckon what's going to happen is they're going to fly her over halfway through the series. Maybe they're going to let Alex and Jamie hang out for a while, party a bit, and then yeah, they're unexpectedly struggle. bring Nicola in. Yeah, okay. Well, she was saying just at the launch of Orgy's new show, Exiles, which is also in, that she was definitely filming after the summer. So that makes you think maybe she's not coming over. I don't know. I think you can't just have a series without her. Like, what would they say on TV if there's just Alex party and no sign Nicola? So I don't know. Watch the space. I think they're they're very clever and made Chelsea, and uh, I won't be surprised if she's going to turn up over. Well, speaking about watching celebrities, you've been stalking someone this week. Who have you been bumping into? I have been bumping into Pierce Brosnan. Okay, how did this happen? Are you actually stalking him? Let's be honest. Pierce, I swear I am not stalking you. It just happens to he just happened to be on the on the way home and on my way to work. <laughs> <laughs> I just was, I was walking down the street and next one I looked up and I saw him and he's a very prominent figure and he's very distinctive looking. And as he walked past me, I heard that accent and I was like, that is Pierce Brosnan. Then you knew it was him. Yes, I did. And he's filming a movie at the moment here called IT. Do you think it's nice for Pierce to be back? He's normally in LA. It's maybe the sunshine's come out for Pierce actually. But is it nice to kind of have those bigger celebs kind of spend some time back in Ireland? Yeah, I think it's really good and it's really important to see them over here to see that they still support Ireland as well. And make sure you like the country. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's great. obviously it's great for the industry to, if they do film the whole movie here. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's great to see him. Like everyone was in really good form. Obviously the sun is shining. Uh, he was looking great. And it was just super chill. It was really cool. Would you, Megan? No, I would not. But I would definitely like to take a selfie. <laughs> definitely. And you start bringing your selfie stick out. I do. Well, from one actor to another, Jamie Dornan's on our side today like he normally is. And he's being like so humble at the moment. He's basically saying that he doesn't think he deserved his role in The Fall, which I don't agree with. What do you think? Do you think he's being honest? Like, why else would they put him in the film to keep the suit? Uh, well, it's, it's no lie that uh, Jamie's a very, very attractive looking man. I reckon any casting he walks into, they just take one look at him and just think, yeah, we're putting you in, we're giving you some role in any role. But also he has to have acting talent as well because yeah. they're not just going to throw him on the TV if he, if he isn't any good at acting. And obviously he's got the Fifty Shades role, which is a worldwide movie, so yeah. I'm sure he is quite good. The thing is about Fifty Shades, is that a problem for Jamie? That's the thing, because I think he's trying to break away from it now. Do we need to see him in a really serious movie where he's completely paired back? and? Can I get some Oscar buzz? Do you think that's the next thing for Jane? Yeah, I think it's, but I think it's going to be very hard for him to break down the whole of Christian Grey because as I say, Christian Grey is worldwide. All the women know who Christian Grey is and everyone fancies him. So it is going to be very difficult for him. So he is really going to take on a role that is completely different, break down any stereotype and show people that he actually can act. And finally, guys, we have to talk about Debbie O'Leary and Peter Stringer's wedding just because I absolutely loved her dress. It was in Marbella, it looked very glitzy. What did you think of her dress? I thought it was fab, she's an amazing figure and it just was perfect for her, perfect for the weather, a lovely fishtail and obviously Peter himself looked very dapper. Didn't he? Yeah, a navy yeah. suit and baby pink, I really like that and I just yeah. thought it looked really lovely. So we're looking forward to the honeymoon pics there, we actually have all of Georgia Saba's honeymoon pictures up at the moment so please tweet on Instagram Debbie, it'd be happy to say. Well that's it from us today at Goss TV, for these stories and much more check out goss.ie.